This is the start of a new series on Clean Prints, where essentially, we're gonna take a look at the weirdest stuff in gaming for the week. Some of it's just gaming news, some of it is just ridiculous articles I find. We're gonna do this probably every week, at least when there's weird stuff to talk about. Today, we're gonna start with a little bit of gaming news that I think is a little ridiculous. The Cyberpunk 1.2 patch, which is, uh, yeah, it's, it's out, uh, it took months, and it, it's not good. It's not good at all. I was kind of excited when this patch was rolling out. I kind of thought like, hey, here's an opportunity to like hop back into the game and spend some more time with it. I spent a lot of time with it. I really enjoyed it. Like I'd like to go and like, I don't know, play a few more side missions or complete more of the world activities. And I hopped in and it was immediately a problem. New, new bugs, new bugs. It does fix a few things. If you've seen the list of patch notes, it's, it's like a mile long, which you think sounds like an overdramatic overstatement, but what it really is is almost accurate. Like it looks like one of those cartoon characters rolling out like that list of things that they want for Christmas. But the point is, is that all of those fixes and a lot of stuff got worse and a lot of stuff did not get better. I, for instance, have experienced the finger gun glitch. What that is, is now you hold your finger out your finger basically, your hand, and that's what fires the weapon. As you saw in my Cyberpunk video, I already had glitches where the guns didn't show up. This is worse. This guy experienced a perpetual sandstorm, like it never stopped. Suddenly all of Night City was just covered in sand all the time. The bigger problem here is, yeah, that's funny uh, in the patch notes, and the length of the patch notes is funny. What's not so funny is that this is just like a, a band-aid solution to 1% of the problems in the game. A lot of the problems are foundational. The game's not gonna suddenly become dramatically better. But this long list of patch notes at least shows that Cyberpunk is going to get better and that CD Projekt Red is really, really committed to making it better. That being said, they could have made these patch notes internally and released the game a year later when it was done. So, yeah, in the future, let's hope that happens. Now onto the weirdest stuff. I wanna talk about uh, this week's April Fool's uh, list of catastrophes. Every year, gaming companies do this thing where, like, they pretend to be, you know, young, <laughs> I guess, or, like, interested in popular culture or internet culture, and every year it usually goes horribly, especially in gaming, where their social media managers are, like, 45 years old and, and, and memeing. It's, it's not fun. This year, though, there was some cool stuff, and there was also some really horribly weird things. This is the G Fuel Chili Dog Energy Drink, expired by, uh, inspired by Sonic. I, I, it's, I don't know. I don't know if this is funny or not. I'm not, I'm not really sure. It's definitely gross. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't get this one at all. Getting more into the gaming side of things, we have this weird World of Warcraft thing. This was a leaked patch notes, or pretend leaked patch notes, where they said that you would start in black and white and move to color like WandaVision, and, and WandaVision would, would be there, and it's... I, I'm not really sure what this is supposed to be. These are the kind of hey fellow kids April Fool's jokes that I just... I don't know why these companies do, but hey, if... if you were excited about WandaVision World of Warcraft patch notes. Hope you checked your calendar. I love this next one because it, this always happens every year where a company in like social media or popular culture will announce like a TV show or a movie as an April Fool's joke. And then everybody will be really excited. They'll take it back. But like it's proof that people actually wanted that thing and, and, and that they're just tone deaf and think it's more funny than it should be. <laughs> uh, Valorant did something like this. Everyone apparently has been asking for a butterfly knife in, Val uh, in Valorant and... They pretended to add a butterfly knife, but I guess it was an April Fool's joke. That's one of those things where like, hey, if everybody wants something in your game, maybe put it in your game and make it not a joke because people want it. And that's the whole point of live services, I thought, was to, you know, give people what they want over time. Then there's the real stupid crap that I just, I, 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 someone, I can't believe someone gets paid to, to, to think these things up and, and, and make these mock-ups. For example, here's this hair dye. This is Razor's RBG hair dye. It's the it's the red, green, blue, you know, like in your PC. Someone got paid to make this mock-up. That's a job that you can apply for, and you could do this for a living. But the best one, the one that I think won the April Fool's Day of 2021, is this one, which isn't actually from a company, it's actually from a YouTuber. This is YouTuber Captain's Workspace. Kind of, you know, eh, shooting a little shot over at uh, the people making the graphics cards that no one can buy. He created this 4090. 
uh, this RTX 4090, this little mock-up thing. It's uh, massive. But what's funnier about it is just that the whole point is that no one can get it, uh, which, you know, speaks to a lot of things this year for reasons that make sense and reasons that don't. You know, no one's no one's getting 3090s when they walk into Best Buy right now. I thought that was pretty funny. So good for you, Captain's Workshop. You win April Fool's Day. On to a weirder story I saw this week. So the guy behind uh, It Takes Two, uh, he did a way out. He's, he's done a lot of these co-op kind of one person on this side of the screen, one person on that side of the screen, or both people on the screen at the same time games. I don't really know what you call that genre other than like same screen co-op. I'm, I'm not I'm not really sure. Different story co-op? Uh, came out this week, as you can see here, and started talking about how single player games are too long and systems exist in perpetuity in these games and they last too long and what I find weird about this isn't the comment necessarily, it's just that how much gaming has shifted in literally one generation. It was one gen ago, the Xbox 360, eight years ago, the Xbox 360 PS3 gen, where we were talking about single player games not being long enough, not getting our money's worth in a Bioshock, single player games like Spec Ops being too short, and now we're at a place one gen later where even devs are coming out and saying single player games are too long. In his defense, Assassin's Creed Valhalla probably still hasn't been beaten by anybody on the planet. These kind of shifting tides for single player games is interesting because quite frankly, Ubisoft and all these companies, EA, that are giving us these 8 billion hour long experiences are doing it because that's what gamers have asked for. Now, I think it's jumping the shark a little bit, but let's be honest here, if Ubisoft released the next Assassin's Creed and it was 12 hours and relatively linear, people would be upset. Now, with that being said, I wouldn't be one of those people. <laughs> I actually prefer older Assassin's Creed games, even though I love Odyssey, I've enjoyed parts of Valhalla, but still, thought this was interesting enough. The last one really quickly is the weirdest of the weird for me this week. Uh, I, I, I was perusing the internet <laughs> a couple days ago, and I found this article from Yahoo that was on Yahoo's front page. This article, this article was on Yahoo's front page. This article is titled, Gamer Dad Sparks Outrage with Response to Wife's Parenting Request. Colon, he needs to be responsible. So apparently on the am I the a-hole subreddit, uh, this woman went on there and posted this long kind of story about her husband. I'll, I'll give you the rundown real quick. This woman has a newborn baby. I assume that this person, the, the father, is the father of this newborn baby. After forcing her husband to drop his game to take care of her baby, they got into a fight. She warned him that he was speaking too loudly while playing his online games and didn't lower his voice. She says, our nine month old is teething and pretty fussy right now. I finally got her to sleep. She nurses to sleep, so my husband couldn't help with that. He was playing an online game with voice and I told him he needed to be quieter because if he woke her up, he was taking care of her until she was ready to go back to sleep. First off, I don't know what your relationship is like, but if you have to threaten your husband with taking care of your baby, it might be bigger problems at hand than video games, but I digress. She says if she wakes up, she wants to play for an hour or two before she'll set it back down, which sounds just miserable, obviously. The husband agreed to be quieter, but didn't follow through. He kept forgetting to lower his voice and the baby woke up. I waited for her to finish his mission. I just want to point out that in all of these articles from like Yahoo, they've never seen or heard of a video game before. He was playing an online game from voice and she waited for him to finish his mission. I, uh, yeah. So she waits for him to finish his mission. Then she hands the baby to him and went into the bedroom <laughs> with her laptop to play one of her games. She threatens him to get off the video games, then hands him the baby and goes and plays her video games. <laughs> I don't I don't really know who the a-hole here is, but I can tell you right now, there's something really dysfunctional about your guys' gaming habits. Uh, this whole trading baby thing uh, for, for, for games and finishing your missions is... I don't think it's gonna work long term. She says, he's mad and says I'm being a jerk because he wasn't being overly loud and he wanted to get further in the game. But I warned him, when she's having a fussy night, we have to work together. So this is obviously weird for a list of reasons. A couple is that this woman posting on Reddit about how her and husband's gaming habits uh, and their baby shouldn't seem to understand what gaming is or like how it's talked about is like further in the game and stuff, but that's not the point. That's just weird gatekeeping crap. Maybe she's just new to gaming. No big deal, not a problem at all. What's weird about this is A posting this online, but more pertinently to me is this whole kind of uh, response that this got. As weird as this little story is, it's the response that was weird to me and shows like an overarching trend and people just pretending like gaming is this like childish thing. One response reads, what is it with these gamer dads just not giving a bad word? I'm not sure what that word's supposed to be. 
But all right, what is it with these gamer dads just not giving a care about their kid? He needs to be responsible for his baby. Another reads, he can help out with his own child. Why is he playing video games anyways? What I find weird about this is two things. Number one, this whole gaming is for children thing is, is just absurd at this point. But number two, it's that Yahoo thought this was big enough news to put on the front page. And then number three, did none of these people commenting read the article where she stopped taking care of the baby to go play video games? It's this weird culture where like, a, women can't play video games, but B, like, no adults can play video games. If you have a baby, that means you're done with your Xbox One or your PS5 or your PC. I just found this weird. Uh, I don't know, it's strange. I'm curious what you guys think about this. I mean, do you have kids? Are you, are you gaming with kids? Is this like a normal parenting with games problem? Like, is there like a whole list of people like tossing their kid across the house to get on their laptop? Or their, Is this normal? I'm not really sure. Yeah, that's it for this week's uh, weird stuff. Uh, I'll see you guys next week. If you enjoyed the video, press the like button. I want to hear from you guys about the comments. What was the weirdest story you saw this week? Was it any of these? What, what do you think about this gaming parenting thing? Is is she the a-hole here or is he? I'm, I guess let's let's run with the Reddit stuff. <laughs> if you haven't hit subscribe, do that. Uh, I put out all sorts of different kinds of gaming content. Long form analysis stuff in the color series. This more kind of newsy stuff. Uh, so hit subscribe so you don't miss any of that. I am back. Uh, check the community post, please. It's up uh, in the Twitter to hear about some of the initiatives we're taking on the return to Clean Prince. By we, I mean me and you guys. And yeah, hopefully I'll see you guys uh, next week.